Hello, Daily Math Class 13, addition within 100. There were 35 students on the playground. 13 more students went to the playground. How many students are there now? Write and solve an equation to show this problem. Use a symbol for the unknown number. So my first step is to write an equation that matches the story. There were 35 students on the playground. So 35 students on the playground. 13 more students went to the playground. Well, the operation symbol that I would use to show more students joining would be plus, be the addition symbol, 13 more. So 13. How many students are there now? So equal, and we'll put my mystery box there. Okay, so now is when I choose a strategy to solve this problem. Now remember, your strategy may look different than mine. I'm gonna use the arrow way. So I'm starting at 35. Okay. And I need to make jumps or arrows equal to 13. But remember, I can use it, do it in any size pieces that work for me. So 13. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is add the 10. So I have three tens plus one 10 is four tens. And then my five ones stay the same. Well, I need to add 13. So I still have three ones to add. So plus one. 46 plus 1 is 47 plus 1 is 48. Now remember, your arrows may look different than mine. I could have drawn an arrow of 10 and then drawn one arrow of plus 3 to kind of make that jump all in one. It's not important what your arrows are as long as they're quick, easy, and that the total value of those arrows have to add up to the 13, what I'm increasing it by. So 35 plus 13 is 48. 48 students. Now, count backward by 1, 5, 10, and 100. So the first time, I'm skip counting by backward by 1. So I'm starting with 62. So I have two ones. So if I go backward, I'd have 61. Take one one away. I take one one away. I'm at 60. Now I'm at that 60 mark. So if I go backward one more, I have to go into the 50s. So that's 59. So basically what it is, I took a 10, broke it apart, took one away, and I had nine remaining. So 59. Skip count backward by 100. So now I'm taking 100s away. So 372. I take 100 away. I'd have 272. Take one of the hundreds away, I have 172. Take the 100 away, I'm left with 72. Notice the only change is each time I'm taking away one from the hundreds place. Subtract within 1,000. 763 minus 345. Now I'm going to use the place value chart to solve this. Remember, your method may look different than mine. That's fine. So 763, so I have hundreds, tens, and ones. Now to use the place value chart to solve this, the first thing I do is build the number 763. So I have three ones, six tens, and seven hundreds. Now, I'm taking away 345. So first thing I look at is I want to see, do I have enough in each place? So I need to cross off five ones. I only have three ones. So that tells me I need more ones. So I'm going to go over to the tens place. I'm going to put an X to show that I'm decomposing or breaking it apart. Draw my arrow to show it moving over to my ones place. Now, one ten equals ten ones. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I have plenty of ones. Now I need to be able to cross off five ones, so that's okay. Four tens. I'm okay there. And then three hundreds, right? So now I need to cross off five ones. So now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and now I need to cross off four tens. So I have one ten remaining, three hundreds, four hundreds remaining. So four hundred eighteen. Now coming over here, four hundred thirty-four minus two hundred and forty-two. So again, I'm going to use stick with the place value chart this time, just to do both of these. One hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay. Now, first thing I do, build 434. And now I'm going to cross off 242. So first two ones, I'm okay. Four tens. So I'm going to need some tens here. So I'm going to cross off 100. Decompose it, bring it over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> and now I have my ones, I have my tens, and I have my hundreds. So now I'm going to cross off 242. So first, two ones. And now four tens. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now my hundreds. So 192. So that's how I can use that place value chart to do that multi-digit subtraction. Picture graphs. Stuffed animals owned by students. And so the first thing I do is I look at my key. One teddy bear equals one stuffed animal. So it's giving me data for Henry, Melissa, and Trent. And then I need to look at my question. How many more stuffed animals does Henry have than Melissa? So I'm looking at Henry and Melissa. Those are the two I'm looking at. And I want to know how many more does Henry have than Melissa? Well, there's a couple different ways. So since they're right next to each other, I can say, well, here, they're the same. So one, two, three, four. I can also use a crossing out method. So I can cross out Melissa, one there, one there. Now, how many do I have? One, two, three, four. So four stuffed animals. I'm just looking at the difference between Henry and Melissa in regards to stuffed animals. Measure length two different ways. So we're going to measure the caterpillar. So here's my caterpillar for today. I'm going to measure it using paper clips to the nearest paper clip and ladybugs to the nearest ladybug. Now one thing you'll notice is the paper clip is almost twice as long as the ladybug. It takes two ladybugs, just goes a little bit further than a paper clip. So obviously it's going to take far fewer paper clips than ladybugs. So let's check. One, two, three, four. So it's closer to four whole paper clips. And then ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ladybugs. So one thing we want you to notice in looking at this question is notice that if I'm measuring something using a larger unit, it takes less of them than if I measure something using a smaller unit. Um, in school, you'll be measuring things in inches and feet, for example. Well, inches, it takes far more inches than feet to measure something. This is Daily Math Class 13. Thank you.